I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It's good to be with you on the farm. The, the, the bulls are sitting back and they're just relaxing, chewing the cud. What does that mean? Well, you know that the cow's got three stomachs. So he eats the grass, goes into his stomach, he regurgitates it, chews it a second time, and then he swallows it. That's what chewing the cud is. See? And often I'll say, I want to chew the cud with you. If you have a look, the cameraman's focusing there. He's sitting there quietly and he's chewing the cud. Some of you need to chew the cud. You are so busy that you cannot even sit down and have a decent meal. You know who I'm talking to, madam. You gobble your food down and you wonder why you've got stomach problems and you've got indigestion. Sit down and chew the cud. How many times did Jesus say to his disciples, come aside and rest a while. You don't even have time to eat. Now that's not the message. I'm talking about a man who walked with God. His name was Noah. If you go to the book of Genesis, the first book of the Bible, Genesis chapter 6 and verse 9, this is what the Bible says. This is the genealogy of Noah. Noah was a just man, perfect in his generations. And Noah walked with God. Isn't that a beautiful title? Eh? Wouldn't you like to be known as that's John there? A man who walks with God. That's Jenny there. That's a woman who walks with God. To me, there's no greater compliment. I don't want to be known as a good preacher or a, a man of faith. I want to be known as a man who walks with God. There's no greater compliment. But it takes time if you want to walk with God. You've got to sit down and you've got to chew the cud with God. You've got to get up in the morning early when maybe the rest of the family are sleeping and you've got to come aside with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and open this book and read it systematically every day in the first person and God will speak to you and you'll be known as a person who walks with God. Folks, I want to tell you that there is no greater compliment. You see, if we look at Romans chapter 1 verse 17, it says the just Okay? Shall walk by faith. And what does it say here about Noah? Noah was a just man. See, it's not a coincidence. The just or the righteous men walk with God. How do you get faith? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. That's how you get faith. See, you spend time in the word. Some of us are so busy listening to the news, and half of it's lies, by the way, or exaggerations, which is a lie anyway. And you wonder why you're suffering from depression and anxiety and fear and stress and you don't know where to go and where to run. But if you go into that quiet time room and you chew the cud with Jesus and he says to you, I'll never leave you. I will never forsake you. He says to you, just do what I'm telling you to do. That's all you got to do. Remember the servants when they came to Mary, the mother of Jesus? at the wedding in Cana and they said that uh, your sons told us to fill the, the water vats up with water and she said just do what he tells you and what happened that was the first miracle in Cana the water turned into wine the best wine of the whole wedding God will tell you what to do like he told Noah to build an ark folks it had never rained on the earth before that the water used to come up in a form of a mist in the evening and irrigate all the foliage and all the trees and the plants. And God said to Noah, I'm going to drown. I'm going to flood this earth. I'm sick and tired of the evil. Build an ark. He gave them the specifications. Can you imagine Noah must have been the laughing stock of the town? He did it and he saved the world. Goodbye.